session of the pharmacology discussions so today's topic of my discussion will be basically emphasizing upon the drug the very important the antibacterial agent that is the cotrim oxazole so students this has been a very favorite question in most of the professional exams where the students are asked about the rationale of using the sulfamethoxazole and the trimethoprim as the combination so students do remember so cotrim oxazole when we coming to uh, defining it so cotrim oxazole is actually a fixed dose combination of sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim in the ratio of 400 mg to 80 mg so students do remember cotrim oxazole it is a fixed dose combination which is involving the sulfamethoxazole which is an antibacterial antibacterial air drug and the trimethoprim in the ratio of 400 milligram to 80 milligram in the ratio of 5 is to 1. So students, uh, I would like to emphasize upon the mechanism of action of this drug. So students do remember, since both these drugs are bacterial antibacterial drugs so individually when looking at these two drugs, the sulfamethoxazole is a bactericidal drug, bacteriostatic drug. I'm sorry, the sulfamethoxazole is a bacteriostatic drug, whereas the trimethoprim, it is a, another bacteriostatic drug. So when these two drugs are used in combination, then the combination is called as the cotrimoxazole and this combination becomes bacteriocidal in nature. So this kind of an action, when the two drugs are going, the, when the additive uh, combination of two drugs is going to when the additive uh, combination of two drugs is going to elicit a greater response apart from uh, the individual edit in individual effects of the drug when uh, synergism is that phenomena when the additive effect of the two drugs is greater than the individual effect of the single uh, individual effects of the drug uh, in uh, single form. So students, this phenomena of synergism is seen in the uh, cotrimoxazole and now beginning with the mechanism of action. So the mechanism of action of the cotrimoxazole, it is again, it is the sequential blockade of the folate metabolism in the bacterial cell, what is seen by the uh, these uh, cotrimoxazole. So the sequential blockade of the folate meta metabolism is the basic mechanism of action. And students, as you all very know, uh, as you all might be knowing that uh, folic acid is the very important or the chief constituent which is responsible for the synthesis of the nucleic acids present in the bacterial cell and these nucleic acids they are responsible for the synthesis of the bacterial chromosomes and ultimately when the folic acid is going to get uh, reduced the synthesis of the folic acid is going to get decreased ultimately there will be no synthesis of the nuclear uh, the chromosomes of the bacterial cell and ultimately that will lead to the further inhibition of the multiplication of the bacterial cell so students beginning with the mechanism of action so the first or the chief important uh, chemical compound where from how the folic acid is being synthesized by the bacterial cell it is the para amino benzoic acid so students do remember the para amino benzoic acid it is the first chemical compound which is responsible for the synthesis of the folic acid so this para amino benzoic acid is getting converted into the dihydrofolic acid in the presence of an enzyme which is called as the folic acid synthase and this folic acid synthase is responsible for this conversion now moving on to the next uh, uh, step that is this dihydrofolic acid is further reduced to the tetrahydrofolic acid in the presence of the enzyme dihydrofolate reductase and the action of the cotrimoxazole constituents that is the sulfamethoxazole and the trimethoprim is by the selective inhibition of these two enzymes. The sulfamethoxazole is going to selectively inhibit the folic acid synthase enzyme whereas the trimethoprim is going to selectively inhibit the dihydrofolate reductase enzyme and these two drugs individually the sulfamethoxazole it is again a bacteriostatic drug the trimethoprim is a bacteriostatic drug but the combination of the sulfamethoxazole and the trimethoprim becomes bactericidal 
So students do remember the combination of sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim becomes bactericidal. Now moving on. So this was the sequential blockade of the folic acid synthesis. So students do remember that this maximum synergism of the combination of these two drugs is obtained when the organisms they are sensitive to both the drugs. So the bacterial cells, the bacterial organisms, if they are sensitive to both the drugs, then in that case, the maximum synergism of these two drug combination is seen. Moving on to the next important factor that the optimal synergy the optimal synergy of these two drug combination is seen when a plasma concentration of 20 is to 1 takes place. So in the plasma, when the concentration is in the ratio of 20 is to 1, then the optimal synergy of the sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim is seen. And to get this plasma concentration of 20 is to 1, the dosage ratio what should be there, what should be administered to the patient, it should be in the ratio of 5 is to 1, that is 400 milligram of sulfamethoxazole to 80 milligram of trimethoprim. So students, when talking uh, of the, in the professional exams, this has been a very favorite question that discuss the rationale of the combination of sulfamethoxazole with trimethoprim. So students, this was a short discussion about the cotrimoxazole drug and um, students this um, if you do like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel and do press the bell icon so that you can be further updated for my upcoming videos thank you for watching